Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can easily validate within PHP uh, using the violin validation library. And this is a library that I've created. And in this series, I'm going to take you through uh, all the steps you need to get up and running with this and use it in your own projects today. So the first step is to go ahead and install it. So we are going to be installing it using Composer. If you don't already have Composer, it works uh, on multiple operating systems. You're just going to need to head over to getcomposer.org to download it. And if you head over to the Violin GitHub page, you can actually see the documentation here already. So if you want to play around with it yourself, um, all the information that you need should be here. Otherwise, uh, in this series, we're just going to be downloading this with Packagist, so using Composer, and then we'll get going with it. So the first thing that we want to do then is inside of our text editor, uh, we're going to create a composer.json file to pull this in as a dependency for our project. Uh, and this way we know that when we uh, host our files on a server, we can just run a command and have everything pulled down for us. Much easier way of installing things. And uh, we'll just be looking at the examples in this on this page here in our browser. So the first thing that we want to do then is, like I said, create this composer.json uh, file. So we're going to create this just in here. And we're going to define the requirements for our project. And if we head, head over to packages, we can see the versions that we have uh, for violin. Now, bear in mind, depending on when you are watching this video, the versions may change. Uh, things with that throughout the code may change. So you might find this is a little bit different uh, to this series. But if that is the case, you can just head over to the documentation and refer to that as well. So we want to pull in version 2.1.0, which is the latest version. So we can just click on this, copy that, and go ahead and just paste that into here. And if we open up a terminal within the directory that we're in, uh, we can go ahead and use Composer installed to download that. So once that's done, we can go ahead and start using it and looking at the basic uh, usage for it. So that's downloaded. Let's just instantiate this uh, just so we know how to work with violin. And then in the next video, we'll look at some very basic usage of this. And then as we progress through the series, we'll start looking at some more advanced ways to use this. So to actually pull our composer dependencies in, we require within the vendor folder autoload.php. And if you're not sure about this, let's just dive into here to see what's been downloaded with composer. You can see that we have violin downloaded. You can view all of the source code here. Uh, so you can go ahead and look through this uh, and get familiar with it if you want to. You can also see a list of the base rules within this uh, rules directory here. These are all the rules that are available. So you can also dive into these and see how these work too. But what we're interested in is creating a new violin instance so we can start using the validate method to actually validate some data within our application. So all I'm going to do here is create a new instance of violin. Now this is namespaced, so you can either import this at the top by saying use violin, violin, or you can just replicate this down here like that, uh, however you want to do this. I'm going to do it this way. So now that we've done that, we're ready to move on to the next video where we're going to be looking at some very basic usage of violin and how you can use it in your project to make validation really easy.